Hi everyone, thanks for watching today. Um, today's video is going to be all about fake perfume and shopping for perfume and my personal experience um, shopping on a kind of a random perfume website. So I just wanted to share this experience with you guys because I learned so much along the way. And um, the other thing I found is that people aren't really familiar with this whole other area of perfume buying, so I just wanted to share. Um, so a while ago, I was browsing on the internet and I came across a number of sites that had discounted perfume um, at really, really good prices. And they had a lot of really big names. They had Tom Ford, they had Guerlain, um, Chanel, you know, all the major, brands that you would see at department stores they had them and they had them very very discounted so some of them were 25% off some things were 50% off and of course if you're buying something that's been discontinued you can find it heavily discounted on a number of websites and in a number of stores um, but I was posting pictures of these sites on my Instagram stories and I was just asking people if they had any experience with these sites because I personally didn't. I've never bought anything off those sites and someone reached out to me and said that she felt that some of these sites were funneling funds into illegal activities overseas and you know you really don't know who you're doing business with when you purchase off these websites and so just to proceed with caution you know she wasn't saying do it or don't do it she was just saying you know in her experience she had some insider info that she knew i'm just going to be very vague when i say it but she was very she was a reliable source and she really um discouraged me like what she told me convinced me to not purchase off some of these sites i know a lot of them are um valid and a lot of them are real sites they're just selling dead stock which is stock that um, you know retailers can't use anymore and so it's better than destroying something that's there's really nothing wrong with it right so it does make sense to sell it but you know after hearing what she had to say I just thought you know I'll stick to my purchases from Shoppers Drug Mart or Sephora or a department store so that I know what I'm getting is um, credible and there's no room for error or doubt so that was that was my first experience but then what happened is that my favorite perfume got discontinued and that is Replica um, Music Festival. This is a Margiela fragrance and I, you can see this is a 10 ml of it. It also came in a 100 ml but I never bought that. I only bought the 10 and then I just like never opened it and never wore it and then finally when I did wear it and I really got into it this winter, I wore it a lot. And then I realized that it was discontinued and no longer being sold. I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, nor I bought this one at Sephora, but then even when I went to the Sephora stores, they didn't have it anymore. Um, it's on the Margiela website, but they only ship to US or um, Europe and not to Canada. So really disappointing for me because I really wanted to get the 100 ml. And then... Um, I was just Googling and I couldn't find it anywhere that would deliver to me. And then I found a random website that had it. And it had it for, I think, $65, even though the 100 ml is like over $100. And I was like, great, you know, I'm going to buy it. And it was a spur of the moment decision. I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. That's totally my fault, you know, it really wasn't the the wisest decision that I've made and um, I bought the fragrance, right? Well, afterwards, I had buyer's remorse, you know, this was like midnight or 1 a.m. I'm sitting on my computer trying to find it, I finally find it, I'm like, great, I bought it and then I go to sleep. Well, the next morning, I was like, what is that site? And I googled that site and I found tons of reviews from people saying, do not shop on this site. It's terrible. The site is called Perfumely. So if you come across that, that's where I bought the Margiela fragrance from. People were basically saying they didn't get their fragrance or they got something in a box that was totally damaged or um, they got something that was totally different than what they ordered and there was no way to send it back and get a new 
um, bottle or have an exchange. You know, there's no customer service because it's just so random. So, um, of course, buyer's remorse. I did not want to continue with my order, but there was no way for me to cancel it. And I had to go ahead. Um, whatever. Four weeks later, I get a package. I go pick it up, open it. Um, you know, the writing is all in Russian on top of it. Well, I'm assuming it's Russian. It really could have been anything because I have no idea. I open it and first I see this logo and I'm like, oh, that's weird. I didn't order anything with that from that brand. And then um, I take it out of the package and there it is right there. This is what came in the mail. This is Maison Francis Kirk Jan Paris Oud Silk Mood Eau de Parfum. It is a 70 ml. This perfume normally retails for $392 Canadian. That is way more money than I would ever spend on a perfume. Um, I did not order that, okay? So first of all, I'll show you what it came in. This box is obviously not the normal box that you would get when you order this perfume. A $400 perfume will come in nicer packaging. Um, it usually comes in one of those boxes where you open it and the perfume is kind of propped up and displayed, you know, and this is, you wouldn't get this like flimsy cardboard box. Now it did have cellophane on the outside um, that was glued on, but you can see the box is already quite damaged. I mean, it's been sitting in my bag for a little bit uh, and it did come from Russia, so maybe that's why, but it's kind of a not a very nice box. I, I feel like even this Margella fragrance came in nicer packaging than this cardboard box. So for four, if you had paid full retail, you should expect better packaging. This is not the real packaging, okay? But then people said that maybe this is a tester box and testers might come like this. I don't know. I don't really think so. I took out the perfume. Wow, the bottle is gorgeous and you can see that it really does look legit now a lot of people um i watched a bunch of videos they said that when they bought the fake version of this perfume the j in the kirk jam was um really curved whereas the original is kind of pointy and mine is a pointy one on this and on the box so i don't have that curved j um, I do have kind of a pointy J, especially on the bottle. They also pointed to the sticker and they said, you know, these stickers were different on the fakes. Notably, they said this flammable sticker was a square and on the real thing, it should be a diamond. Well, you can see that mine is a diamond. So I have lots of indications that this was real, um, at least when I looked at the packaging. There was also a bunch of people that said that um, the fake bottles are always like dinged or scratched or not perfect. You can see my bottle is in really, really good condition. It is a beautiful bottle. I would be proud to display this on my vanity. Um, of course, I would be more proud if I had known that it was real. So if anybody wants to gift me their real perfume, I'll be happy to take it off your hands. The other thing that people said is that this logo on the bottle cap, when I take the cap off, there it should be mirrored inside. Well, mine is not. Mine is turned around. Uh, you can't really see it. Yeah, you can't see it on camera, but my logo on the inside does not match the logo on the outside. It's kind of crooked, okay? And if it's the real deal, then it should be aligned perfectly. That being said, I was telling somebody about this and their response was that there's always gonna be a certain number of defect bottles or defect caps that come off the assembly line when they're putting this whole perfume together. And the defects are gonna go in a separate pile, whereas the real, you know, the ones that are perfectly made are gonna go in the good pile. And so the defects that they have, like either they're gonna destroy them or they're gonna sell them or they're gonna put a different cap on them, I think. So I don't know, is this a defective cap? Is it a real cap? I have no idea. The only way for me to really know whether this was the real thing is to smell it side by side. Um, so I took this into a Saks store and um, they were so helpful. 
there was a lady there. She didn't really work at this counter, but she sold something in the cosmetic area. She was available. She had time. I mean, the sack store was really empty. Um, the guy that's usually at this counter was on vacation, so whatever. Um, but she was like, what? Why? I was like, oh, I need to smell this. And I was like really examining their bottle. And she, she's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you here? And so then I took out my my bottle and I was like, I don't know if I have a real bottle or not. So we did a side by side comparison. My bottle looks really, really good. However, it is missing a batch number of the perfume on the very bottom. And every single bottle that we examined at the sack store that they had out of the box had a batch number on the bottom. So that's an indication that mine could possibly be a fake because this was the only bottle that did not have a batch number. Um, I also told her my theory that this might be a tester box and she said that their testers didn't come like this. Their testers come in regular boxes and they open them. And she showed me, she opened the drawer and yep, sure enough, they've got all the testers and all the boxes in there. Um, and they're in pristine condition, you know, like they, they don't look like this. So, um, and even for the testers, they have a batch number, like you're essentially just opening up a real bottle of perfume and using it. You're just gonna, um, you know, I don't know, claim it as an expense or something like that because it's not products that you've sold, right? So finally, we did a side-by-side -side spray um, and we sprayed it on the card and then we sprayed it on ourselves. And again, customer service, I got to give this lady a shout out because she was willing to spray it on herself. We probably did like 10 sprays of this perfume and she just did not care and she was happy to help me. Um, so we sprayed it on the card. We sprayed it on ourselves. My version smells like the real Oud Silk Mood, but it is super watered down. So I don't know, did they like put a little bit in here? Is it a fake? Is it a dupe? It's not the real thing, okay? Because the real thing smells very strong. It is very distinctive. Um, when we sprayed it on a card, on a scent card, the real one left kind of this oil and alcohol um, water. I should have brought it with me, but it kind of left a mark on the card. And when we sprayed this, it didn't leave that on the card. So that was a little bit suspicious. The other thing is that the whenever you buy a nice perfume, the spray itself should be really nice. And I'll show you this spray and you'll see kind of what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to spray this and I don't want to wear it right now. So I'm just going to spray it over here in this box. And do you see how it's kind of like hard to get out it's hard for me to press down and it kind of comes in a short burst it doesn't come as a nice luxurious mist that is that's kind of weird okay whereas if i spray this margella scent and replica is not like super high end by any means you can get replica at sephora so it's very very widely distributed but this mist is really nice let me show you see that that's a nice mist. It's diffused, it's smooth. The spray itself, when I press it, has no give. It's just nice and smooth when I press it. So that's how all the real um, perfumes at Saks sprayed. When you spray it, it's a nice luxurious mist in the air. And when you spray it on yourself, you're gonna get a diffused amount of perfume on you. Whereas when I sprayed this, it was like a short burst. And I actually didn't think that the same amount came out in this as the real thing. So that's another way of knowing that what you got is not the real thing. I mean, for me, lesson learned, I will never ever buy at a random perfume site again. Um, I don't care if they're selling testers. I don't care if it's a discontinued. I just won't do it for me. If you feel like you wanna do that, go right ahead. Personally, I would rather spend less money and shop at an approved real distributor or directly from this website, right? Like if I really wanted to try this fragrance, I could have bought from their website and I can buy samples and I can buy discovery sets. And that is a more affordable way to buy perfume, to buy luxury or niche perfume than buying off a discounted website. Now, 
my personal feeling is that people are just buying this fake perfume to take pictures of it and then they're posting the pictures and they don't care whether they're getting the real thing or not that's not me I actually buy stuff to wear it I don't care about um, taking pictures so I still did not get replica um, music festival I think they have it at space NK and some places in the in um, Great Britain so I might just order it off there and pay the duty or whatever um, but yeah it was interesting interesting experience for me the people there was a like the there was a woman that helped me at Saks and then a bunch of people came and they were like talking to us too and listening in and they were pretty intrigued by this whole experience they had never come across fake fragrance I guess nobody really has the balls to like buy something fake and then go verify um, I knew that I did not want a fake and I did not want to order a fake so that's why I was really interested in getting some feedback and I got some really good feedback and then I had someone else there to kind of verify and give their two cents on what they smelled versus what I smelled and we just weren't convinced that this was the real thing so I have a beautiful bottle with a perfume that's okay some people told me this kind of smelled like Windex. It doesn't smell like Windex. It's rose um, and it's quite fresh, but it's not as beautiful, um, as strong and as long lasting as a real thing. So that's that. That's my story. And I will see everybody next time. Bye.